Because everybody can't pull this off. And when I say no. everybody, I mean me. <laughs> I am everybody. I cannot pull this off. You might as well tie this around my head, <laughs> send me down the carpet. What's up, you guys? Okay, so recently, um, we've been going to, we've been going outside, y'all. Oh, we've been outside like recently, and it is groundbreaking. You guys know I never want to go nowhere. I'm never trying to do a red carpet. I don't know what got into me, but I was like, the Oscars weekend was coming around, then it was Grammys weekend, and your girl, she was outside. Yes, I think it was the nomination. The nomination was like, this is a reason to attend. Like, you really should attend for this reason. You guys know that I'm a homebody, and I also be a little antisocial. So I figured we'd show you what it's like when preparing for these once at a blue moon moments. <laughs> so this is all the things I could have worn, but I didn't. <laughs> This is, what I, this is what I could have worn. Not this yet. is possibly what I should have worn. Uh, this is a woulda, coulda, shoulda episode. Let's get right into it. So the first thing we had to attend was my girl Alex Georgie, who uh, runs Bloggers Who Brunch. It was a pre-Oscars event. Beautiful location. Beautiful location. Beautiful location. It was actually that. The what is museum. it? The Car Museum. I actually shot a whole day of all things Adrian and that's why I was running late. Oh yes. I went to this event right after the episode I did with Lana. So as crazy as I looked, picking up and opening bananas with my toes, yeah. let me show you what I, I looked like. didn't want to jump in the pool. Yeah, Lana did. And let me show you what I looked like about mm, 45 minutes later. <laughs> Boom. Earlier that morning, I literally went on the House of CB website and I found two black dresses. It's always my go-to. Sure. I'm very, I'm very New York. Yeah. I love black. And then I'm not gonna lie, House of CB is a great go-to just to pick things up. So we had two choices and here they are. The first choice was this little look. I always say that like, I right? I always say I joke that like, Grace is my stylist, but like Mariah is the creative director who's like, this is the vibe you're She's going so for. She's so good at that though. Even like, like pictures, like that, no, I love that. She'll send us yeah. a mood board and then yeah. me and Grace go to work and we're like, okay, this yeah. would look good or Grace will be like, you're not wearing that. <laughs> so this was actually the little dress that we ended up scooping yeah. up. You Which loved it. your waist because of ruching. I mean, I love, they have really great pieces. Yeah. We did have to tailor it because the medium was too big. The medium was too yeah. big on the waist. Yes. But it fit my breast area perfect. Correct. And yeah. then the small fit perfect on my waist, but it was like major spillage. Yeah, yeah. It looked yeah. like my breasts were being suffocated. <laughs> yeah. So we actually ended up going with the medium. Which by the way, I I just fun fact, I think getting a size up and getting something tailored, Taylor. especially for an event, is the best way to go, for sure. Pro tip number one from Grace, <laughs> get something tailored, yeah. shop it a size up, yep. and get, get it snatched it to your yeah. body. It'll make such a difference. The next option we had was this long black dress that I absolutely loved. That was your fave, right? So good, yeah. Why'd you like this one? Because it's just so cute. And rouging works so well. I like this from um, these two here. On her body, she has like a curvy body, but she's small. She's a little petite fun size. Ah. <laughs> but I also, the reason why we love it is because it hides all the flaws. So yeah. I love this because you're not gonna see your little chichas on your stomach or your back. And also if you have any cellulite, you won't see any of that dimpling on the butt because the ruching mm -hmm. covers it all. It's very, very flattering. From both of the dresses, we ended up going with the shorter one. And here's a fun fact of the night, you guys. Ray and I got in the car, we went to the event, we pulled up, and as we were pulling up, they were pulling down the red carpet. No way. <laughs> they were pulling down the backdrop. It was over. It was over. And we were like, what happened? And I will say the invite said 11 p.m. We arrived yes. at 10.30. It was like 30. 10.30, yeah, like 10.30. It was at least 30 minutes. They ago. ended up closing down early, so we were then told that we should go to the next stop. Uh -huh. We were told it was the Travis Scott party. Yes. Like, okay, so now the next stop, you're gonna come to the Travis Scott party. Uh -huh. Guys, let me put it this way. 
If there was ever a sign from God telling me you're not missing out on nothing, go home. this was it. What was that? Go home. Go home. This yeah. was that moment. This was it. Literally, we pull up to the front, we get out the car, we got paparazzi, mm -hmm. we walk up to the front of the house where they obviously have a setup for people to walk in, and there is a beautiful home, stunning home in Bel Air, right where, around where we used to live. The person I was asking for, I did not realize was the person in front of me doing this. So Guys, so sad. there were all oh. these young, like maybe these girls were in their early 20s. Early 20s. Like, they I gotta mean, be like just 20. 20 yeah, 20, Like you 21, just turned 20, maybe. 21 maybe. And they were standing at the entrance yeah. and it was a group of maybe five guys, five girls. Mm -hmm. I was like low key traumatized. And I've been doing, I've been in this for a minute. So they told me look for and that if asks you to show him this text message, uh -huh. which she did. And all of a sudden we hear this man turns around. What? What is? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. No, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not doing. I'm not doing this. Literally. Ugh, gosh. It's like sick, man. The I'm next sick. person will come up and be like, "Excuse me, um." Get out of my face! No, what did he? T he told the girl, um, I don't give. I, I don't care what you show me. They're not getting in. I'm not letting them in. I don't care. I don't care what they look like. They're not getting in. So it was something like that. It was like somebody, that. he's like, I don't care what you show, because somebody was trying to show him look like I Everybody have... had credentials. So Adrian had the same credentials. The same credentials. It was the text message that says you've been personally invited, whatever. And I was specifically telling him, oh, I'm with so-and-so. He, he goes, move, move, like this, move. Oh my God, great. Yes. He picks the people. Yes, oh, definitely no. not. Move over, no. move over. Definitely not. Move, move. You, mm, Dog no. Yes, actually, no, 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 no. no. Yeah. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Like that, and walks away. So that's all of them terrible. people, all those those people, kind of come in, right? Yeah. Bendito, there was three. Girls, like three girls, yeah. Three girls left behind, and I'm standing there, and they turn to me and they go, "Wow, so we were just called ugly." ugly. And the one girl is like, "But she was wearing the same kind of dress as me." Like, oh, I told you I should have got that plastic surgery. No. I can't. Adrian turns around no. and is like, no, you are beautiful the way you are. Yeah. Oh my God. This is. I so got cool. so angry. I was like, no, they're ugly. Mm -hmm. They're ugly people because only someone with a, with literally the ugliest spirit would walk that. out yeah. of a party and literally be like, you, you, ugh, not you. Who treats people like this? Terrible. And in that moment, I said, Ray, no. Nah, we don't need no, to be here. No, we don't need to be here. This is why I don't come out. We good. I will sit at home in my house with my whole self-esteem okay. and some it's peace. Because what am I coming out here for? For you to tear me down, make me feel ugly, tell me that I can't get in, that I lack importance. Same. It was literally It was Ray, awful. Ray Those said, girls, oh my God. Young girls, young impressionable girls trying to get, and I felt so bad because the girl was like, I told you I should have got plastic surgery. When I heard that, I turned, I literally was like, stop it right now. Yeah. Stop it right, you girls are beautiful. beautiful. There is nothing wrong with you. These were You're beautiful girls. There was nothing wrong you with you. You know them. what's so crazy? Maybe you were supposed to be there to say that. Oh, yeah. Like maybe that was the reason you were there. It was so bad. It was bad. It was Ray going, this is so degrading. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the outfit I wore to the party that I got turned away to. And when I tell you, I do not care. I do not, I actually felt oh so bad God. for those young girls because while I don't care, this yeah. clearly meant so much yes, to them. So them. Yeah. Mm. We wow. took our asses home, we ordered some Chinese food, sat by the fireplace. fireplace, and we took this dress off so fast that I definitely should wear it again. Comment below as to where you think I need to wear this little get up to once again. Loved it. What a story. Wow. <laughs> Let me tell you, put on a cute dress for yourself at yeah. home, put a cute party together with your friends that you know you're going to get into, yes. and trust me, you are having a way better time than anything you see on Instagram. That's a message. <laughs> That's a word. Hallelujah. <laughs> Next stop was the Grammys. So crazy enough, the runner up to the short cocktail dress was the dress that I just ended up wearing to the Elton John uh, Oscar viewing party, which was so much fun. Grace actually got me these so stunning fun. gloves. Yeah, that was a great Explain look. the Gucci vintage sunglasses, because yeah, we can well, have pictures Gucci here. Gucci did a Hollywood glam collection. So 
It was, they're so hard to find. Mm -hmm. There was like one in LA. So we, I grabbed them. They had like these rhinestone embellishments. Um, so we were going for like an old Hollywood glam yes. look. Fun fact, you guys, because I have this blunt bob haircut, mm -hmm. it's really hard to just add long extensions yes. to this yeah. because you will see the where blunt. my hair starts and ends. Yep. Like, you, it'll literally like a bowl. Mm -hmm. And then we've got this long, long hair. <laughs> so what'd you have to do? So, drum roll, she got a weave. A full head <laughs> weave. We braided it up. Yep, braided it down, sewed it in, and I mean, no one so knew good. the wiser. Well, how quickly do I come up with these ideas of the dresses I need and First when we all, need to I'm do this? I'm gonna tell you a true story. I was at the pool, and I get a text from Lana, and she's like, hey, what's up, blah, blah, blah. So we have like six events she needs to attend, blah, blah, blah. And wow. one of them is like tomorrow in the morning. Like she's getting ready tomorrow in the afternoon. And I'm like, okay, uh, all right. And then the next day when she, I get a, a text that says, hey, so I think I'm gonna need like sunglasses that go with this like very much like old Hollywood glam look. Fun fact, yeah. literally I'm asking her with 24 hour notice to pretty much find me the most Difficult yeah, which, pair of sunglasses. Well, first to find. of all, we could I couldn't find them, so my thought was I'm gonna have to glue the rhinestones. Mm. And I remember I texted Oh, and, and create <laughs> guys, I can't find anything. I'm gonna have to just make them. I went to Neiman's and I found the one pair. Last minute. So what initially was my reject actually ended up being one of my hands down favorite looks of all time so for the Elton John. Uh, AIDS Foundation Oscar party. I have to say, as simple as this dress yeah. was, the details yes. definitely set it off. 100%. From the jewelry, mm -hmm. mm. it was the stunning jewelry yeah. to the, glasses. the Gucci glasses, yeah. glasses, the Amina Mawadi purse, mm -hmm. and most of all, the Jimmy Choo yeah, shoes. Mm -hmm. Love these. Now, the Grammys was a whole other situation because it was my first time ever being nominated with Israel for Feels Like Home Volume 2. Woo! I've actually never attended the Grammys. Oh, so this was gonna really? be my first time ever attending. I had never attended. Crazy enough, Israel, the last two times he's won, mm -hmm. he didn't attend. Oh, okay. Something's wrong with that man. I'd be like, listen, <laughs> you nominate me, baby, I'm showing up. Fun At fact, <laughs> both of these incredible people are Emmy Award winning stylists and two time Emmy Award winning hairstylists. Yes. So Israel does not enjoy attending award shows. He hates that feeling and he's just like, I, I, I want to always keep my mind in the right place. Mm. And while I think that is absolutely beautiful, <laughs> I'm going to show up. I want to show up. I want to show out. Okay. But if I'm being honest, I was very nervous to wear this because I thought to myself, it's a little risque. It is risque. Yeah. I am receiving a, for a, 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 yeah. an album for Best Gospel, yeah. and I felt like, Ugh, is this doing too much? Just being completely transparent with you guys, I was like, I don't know if I'm in the best shape for this. You guys know I have beat myself up about that kind of stuff. Getting better at it, self acceptance and love, and I actually was like, ooh. I don't know how this is gonna yeah. look on me. Is it gonna work? So, another emergency call to Grace. <laughs> the first time I tried it on, I was like, okay, first things first, I need to look really long mm -hmm. and tall. But in the moment, with all of these questions surrounding this dress, as stunning as it is, I of course called Grace in a panic, like, we need options. We need options. I believe I got that call when I was looking for sunglasses. <laughs> Here's a little bit of footage of behind the scenes that I never posted on Instagram of like Ari doing my makeup and just the whole team getting me together. There was a backup dress that I actually found while at work with Ray. We were like, what if we did a whole Balenciaga yeah. look? Like that's so yeah. right now, so fly. And we found this Balenciaga dress that we'd never seen anyone in. And we were like, okay, can we do this whole look? I kind of feel like you guys have to see this one on. I gotta say, it's tragic on me. Guys, remember, I am short, I am curvy. Yes. And this- This is different rouging than this rouging. <laughs> this is rouging. not the same rouge, rouge, rouge. You guys know the word. Right. <laughs> rouge. Say it again. Rouging. <clears throat> this is not the same. This is Rouching. some thick, 
ruching. <laughs> yes, but you always have to try it. You're never going to know what it looks like Until unless you, you try, try it. So I'm it. glad yeah. you ordered it. And now we got over it. And we're like, okay, this didn't work. So we also ordered the Balenciaga boots. boots. Yeah. The knife boots, which I'm not gonna lie, I actually really do still love these, even though I didn't end up oh wearing God, these. Good. I kinda, these are great for so Why many. can't you get it cut into a mini? Because it's really expensive, Ray. It's still Balenciaga. No, tell him what you told me. <laughs> and now him, it's but custom. I'll be insulting the designers. Lana was like, can you wear this on the red carpet, but can we cut this whole part off the neck? Okay, now that and, was that, that's a little bit more difficult. And she than what wanted I was to thinking. cut the train off. And I was like, we would literally be so insulting. Yeah, it would be. It Gray, would, speak yes, to this. As no, this. you can't. I mean, you can, but it, it wouldn't be. Especially on a red carpet. I mean, that's literally the design that they put out to the world. No, I think that that would be super disrespectful. I agree. Uh, OK. You well, you heard it from the stylist, child. I do hear. Oh. <laughs> this right. is worth a try on. I'll be right back. Oh, you want to try it on for yeah. us? And how do you even get in oh, there? God, this is like a makeup it's artist's different. worst nightmare. Literally. Oh my God, yeah, a makeup artist would hate everyone. And actually, crazy enough, we discussed this before putting this on. Uh, we were thinking that we were gonna have to put the dress on. Then do yeah. glam. Cape me and then do glam. Yeah. Because there was no way that I could have gotten in this Balenciaga wow. gown. Okay, is it the front or is it the back? Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, <laughs> the rain. I can't see. You're oh. taking me down. No, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna pull it. Ooh, no, 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 no. No, shimmy. Yeah, what do you mean she can't breathe? Uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> wow, okay. You thought I was joking? No. This so... dress is like, I thought I broke my nail trying to get this dress on. Wait, did we do this wrong? No. Okay. The tag is, the... <laughs> Tell me that I'm this done. is, okay. I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. There's no way. I'm, I'm just done. Wait, I said, did we? He said no. <laughs> it's hard it's a me. lot. It's a lot of dress. It's too much fabric. It doesn't help that it's on backwards. I can't believe we did that. Let's see. Ray, are you going to watch? Or? Oh. Just, you let us know when you're ready. I mean, I did it that day of, Grace. I think I've earned my stripes. Oh, you did help me put did. these on. I did. I did. For the after party. I did. In a suit. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys. How much do these boots cost? Expensive. How much does this outfit cost? Expensive. I can't get, like, who? I think I'm supposed to zip these too, right? You can. This was not it. I'm glad I did not go with this, because the day of the awards, doing all of this, <laughs> no. too much. It's oh too God. much. Oh Next, we had this Givenchy gown. Which I was like, you know, if I want to go love simple, yeah. I love the fact that Israel was actually wearing Prada head to toe. It was a Prada suit with a Prada turtleneck with Prada boots. I was obsessed with his look. And I was like, I need to look as cool as Israel. Yeah. Like Israel looked really cool. I love the fact that he was doing all black. I wanted to wear all black as well. And I thought maybe this little Givenchy dress would do. I love this. Let's and then my that. hips didn't fit. <laughs> the hips didn't oh, lie. Yeah. Literally, my <laughs> hips were lying to me, <laughs> telling me I could fit in here. That was the, the lie was that we could get in this dress and it, like, hold this up right here. It literally was like it has pulling. No stretch. Yeah, it, has it has no, no stretch, stretch, so. We did cool. not do this gown. Our next option was literally the complete opposite of everything I just said. I don't know why. I was like, should I go in color? Which I was shocking to you. It was, but I love this color and the fit was amazing. The fit of this dress yeah. is absolutely stunning. This is good. You this like is, this ruching? This was good ruching. It wasn't, it, it, it was like, Thick, thinner than this. Go ahead, I want to see you thicker explain than this. this. Yes, yeah. It's right in the middle. Yeah. I like this one. Guys, not gonna lie, this on my body mm -hmm. looked incredible, mm -hmm. but I'll let you guys decide. What dress do you like on me better? This dress or the one I actually went with, which was the Mano. Another option we had was this, this Zimmerman, which is to die for like because we were like, well, if you just yeah. want to be comfortable, yeah. it was also an option for an after party. And it was just like, listen, if you want to be comfy mm -hmm. and you just want to not have to worry about sucking in, yeah, what are my so breasts nice doing? 
This was the dress for that, and I'm not gonna okay. lie, I was definitely leaning towards it. And we were gonna wear it with these stunning the Gian Vita Rossi shoes, which was gonna be super cute. Ultimately, you guys can vote on what I shoulda, coulda, possibly what? worn. It takes a village. It period. really does. Literally. I feel like you guys are gonna be like, girl, you be making the wrong decisions. Oh, no, they love you. No I, I hope. Be nice, guys. <laughs> don't, don't be like <laughs> Oh my God, please don't oh. be like <laughs> in the comments. How can we cancel I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.